short video just to show you my problems, what I'm trying to verify. First off, here are the drawings. This is the scale. <laughs> it weighs, shows 24, 12 by 16, 16 by 16 columns. This is where the collapse happened back in the structure. Here, let's just, I'm going to talk fast because I got short disk space, it says. Uh, here's a ramp down. Um, ramp down, we see a video of a ramp on the part of ramp on the ground. The structure is composed of beams and also floors that just connect to the columns and those the ones just connected to the column sheared off. There's like a 12 by 24 there, the, uh, the columns, the concrete column size. They also have the beams um, quickly. Let's see if I can do this fast without messing up. Uh, so here's BM41. That's a beam. And it it's a, it's a small beam. It's on the corner of beam 41, BM 41, BM. My problem. I'm trying to find something called a BMA. I can't find a BMA on on structural plans. Um, the this is going to work for me. So that's the beam. These are beams. Their detail is something about one foot six. I can't. That's not the cantilever, but something about them is one foot six. That's also uh, mirroring over there at the edge of the structure, one foot six. Uh, let's see if I can fast forward. Here's a BM39. Here's a BM. So it, it, it's almost as they intermix beams and columns sometimes. Um, but the, the, their floor on slab, their slabs or the columns are poured. They lent, they put the uh, the rebar turned out onto the where the next floor would go, and then they oh, okay here we go. And then they pour the concrete around it, and that's your next floor. And then they infill it with uh, block walls on the outer wall, apparently with some also some um, doors, etc. See BM29, BM42. These are the size of stirrups, placement of steel, etc. As you would see at the top here, BM16 has been deleted. That's uh, interesting because you can still find BM16, I think, in some of the plans. This would be the beam schedule. Um, and that's the size of it. And the uh, this one is a typical bar placement beam diagram. So you see the spans, how it would how it would work. And those beams, I theorize, are my transition from the deck from the deck into the building because the deck the deck is at twelve foot and some change, and the uh, the first floor is at thirteen foot. So we need an elevation change uh, for the deck and the pool and the uh, and the building to connect to each other. That's why I theorize that it's just not a floor spanning across from, say, this beam here. Here's I think collapsed wall here. If I get this wrong, give me a second. Lobby level, right? So our lobby level is uh, um, here's our pool 1110, elevation 1110. Then over here is 129. That's a step up deck. It's seven foot wide. Over here is where our last column goes before we get to the building. As you can see, the building wall line has the columns connect, the columns integral right here. These are the building wall lines. Our other column is under here. Um, so we have that sitting on top of the column. No, no beams connecting, except for here's BMA here. And I think that stands for BMA. BMA, there's, these, there's, there's a few of these BMAs that I can't locate in the drawings. Um, BMAs. And there's no BMA here. But interesting, this one has is, is not in plane. This column is not in plane with the rest of these. But it's out here beyond where the... Uh, oh, no, that is, that's out there at this. Hold on, sorry. So that's out here at here. But it's still a... a, a a uh, parking area no not a, ah, is it up there the parking area anyway that's not super critical now but the the deck still spans from here wrapped around by connecting uh, to the side of the columns if you will with reinforcement over to here now that's where I run into my problem is that it doesn't just transition from there into a flat floor and you go into the lobby area which they call this the, the lobby first floor See, here's a BM, BM35, so I can find a beam here. But it appears to be more like a column and not a beam. Um, so that's where I'm getting some weird uh, changes in, in thinking. Here is a column. These are columns. 
but uh, Elevation 13.4. And I know it confused someone out. Someone made a comment to that effect. They were quite upset with, uh, with me not describing the difference. And so here's the difference. I apologize for, for that. I, it's the same confusion I see here. Um, especially on the roof, they start, they, they, they really transition over to beams at the, uh, at the uh, penthouse area. The elevation here is larger there. This is a shear wall for the, for the, um, well, that doesn't even look right. This is a step way back. I'm not going to jump into that. Let's just say elevation 13.4 here. This flooring here is 13.4. Out here we have, that's an, that's an elevated deck coming out of the, I think, uh, apartment one or whatever they call it, 101, whatever room. But here's 1110. So I, I theorize there's a beam going across the outside of here. Why do I do that? I use the other elevations, the north elevation, and you can 